This is probably going to end in a miserable failure, but um, let's see if we can't get this done. We are sitting in the AV-8B Harrier that I procured during the sale. And we are going to see if I can get this bird off the ground. Most likely I can do at least that, so we are going to start rolling for the runway, there is no way need for us to go for the full vertical takeoff just yet. Uh, however, we are going to do a little bit of um, short takeoff here, because I think I know how to do that. Emphasis, I think I know how to do that. Uh, there is no guarantee that I do know how to do it. But we're, gonna, we're gonna see if I can if I can't do it. So we have armed ourselves with um, four missiles and a pair of rocket pods. Our target for today will mostly be targets of opportunity. The main goal of this flight is to familiarize, familiarize myself with the Harrier in a combat setting. Shooter, take off, uh, Sochi will be on channel 251. I haven't really flown in a while, I had a very stressful last month. So, I've been mostly playing games that don't require as much energy as DCS, but when the Easter sale came, I was like, I'm gonna buy the Harrier eventually, might as well do it now. And I might get more free time on my hands, so... Okay, so here is the tricky part. We are going to do a stall takeoff, meaning we are gonna have our vertical thrust in about that. And just because this is my YouTube channel, we are also going to eyeball it. Now, depending on thrust and everything, and weight ratio and stuff like that, we might actually do a pretty decent job of it, too. Yeah, we did. So we are going to switch into standard flight mode, and we are going to switch the flaps up to automatic, so they do not get in the way. Wheels up, weapons online. Well, weapons are not online, but if you say it that way, it sounds a lot cooler. So we're gonna fly along the coast and see what we can find. I have to say that the Harrier is really enjoyable to fly. And when I say enjoyable, I really mean enjoyable. I mean, it's not one of those aircraft you have to struggle against, and after the F-14, I'm fairly happy about that. Uh, it's basically a... it's not as sluggish as the A-10, but it's not the move in and kill one single thing that the vegan is either. So we're gonna arm our master arm, there might be bogeys oh, oh. in the... Uh, yeah, I should really pull up. So far so good though. I mean, we made it off the ground, we are currently patrolling along the coastline, we don't have that much in terms of so we have 300 gun, we have 4 missiles in different configurations, and we have a MiG-29 at about that direction. So I'm actually considering doing a bit of a combat transfer here. Uh, basically just taking this bird to one of the friendly airstrips closer to the operational area like Sukumi or Gudara. 
It would be interesting to just do that. Just, you know, take off and land closer to the target. Like this was uh, an actual ferry flight. Things look good on the ground. We should be passing Gurara at any second now. Uh, there looks like to be a possible target. Most right bucket I have tagged a possible target near Gurara, so we will be investigating it. It doesn't look like breaking points for the Vegan. Uh, there's also a strike target near that river. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not packing any bombs. I'm just packing my regular rockets. And not very high yield rockets either. Of course, we could try and land them in order to um, reload. But I, if that's the case, I think we're gonna do it like this. We're going to investigate that marker, uh, do a bit of armed reconnaissance, and um, if it turns out we survived the encounter, we're going to continue to Tsukumi. If we manage to land at Tsukumi, we'll rearm with bombs and take out the strike target, and then land Tsukumi again. As you might have noticed there's a lot of things here that's going to have to work out with a brand new module and we don't have any cap so we are gonna turn in to investigate whatever target that is now is not really the time to that's the jettison that's the fuse I haven't actually taken any lesson on how to fire the actual rockets, which might come back to haunt me depending on what the hell we are heading towards. It would not be good of us to head in towards a target and have to rely on our guns. Dodge one one. Magic bra zero zero eight four seventy at twenty three thousand flanking. At least I don't see anything on the electronics Dodge board. One Magic bra zero zero of course that doesn't include other things like flanking. a man pad or something like that. So we're gonna climb by wee bits. Dodge one one. Magic bra one one six. Because I was inverted. To be honest, uh, holding the bird in an inverted pattern was actually not that difficult. I mean, it's a very forgiving bird when it comes to some flight characteristics. Let's see if we can see anything about what kind of target that might actually be. There's no notes attached to it, so we'll need to simply watch for any signs that something is amiss on the ground. But if I was the enemy, I would definitely place man pads along this mountain. They're easy to hide, and uh, it's not really the best situation regarding... I mean, strike aircraft is going to use this ridge to fly low, so you might as well try and exploit that. We'll need to do a more of a turn onto the target area there. And see if we can find anything. It might just be an old mocking as well. Well, we should be pretty much on top of it now, but I can't actually see anything unless uh, it was on that 
yeah, that's just a river, so don't worry about it. Uh, we can conclude that it's mo was most likely nothing. Or at the very least, whatever it is, up there hasn't fired on us. And if it hasn't fired on us, then I'm pleased for the moment. So we're coming up on the town of Sukumi, and the Sukumi airport will be a little bit beyond. While some may feel this is going to be the wrong way of doing it, uh, I'm actually considering coming in from Sukumi this way. Also, we are not going to turn down our flaps already. So what we will do is we'll try to do a decent landing here. And uh, once we have done the decent landing, we're gonna try and rearm with some heavier ordnance. And we use that ordnance to take out the strike targets marked on the map up near the river, this, uh, the, the, the Svari power plant. In fact, that has to be the dam, so we might actually try to do something of a dam buster style on it. You have to admit, it's very, very tempting. But let's see if we can land this thing, first and foremost. Dodge point one, magic bra, three, two, zero, four, one, under, ten, at I think I'm popping my flaps a wee bit early, but if that's the case, it doesn't really matter. Let's vector our nozzles. I'm basically guessing what I'm supposed to do right now. Uh, but I would suspect that we are slowing down in an acceptable manner. I'm, go I'm going to wait with vectoring the nozzles a wee bit more. And uh, then I'm going to load four bombs on the, on the, out on the wing panel. Let's increase speed a wee bit. See if... Yeah, I think I've popped the flaps way too early here. I mean, it's a short airstrip, but we don't need to reduce speed that much. I know Eric is gonna watch this, so if I botch this, I'll never hear the end of it. Vatten is going to buy the Harrier. If I botch this landing, he's gonna buy the Harrier just because he wants to show me that he can land it better than I can. Dodge Fairly point certain point. that's Magic why he got the Mirage. That MiG-29 is awfully close. I can only hope this airstrip has air defenses. So, let's take her down. Like I said, I'm pretty much playing this by ear at this point, so it's going to be uh, actually quite fun to see if I pull this off. The computer does not have much confidence in me pulling this off, I can see. We bit of an overshooting going on there. No! That did not work the way I wanted it to. We are fairly burning here. God damn it. 
Uh, parent menu, ground crew. Can we get a repair here? Request repair. Do you think they can repair this? Fairly certain we'll have to try and shut down the engine before we can do that. Two five one radio check over. Yeah, that didn't end well at all for us. I think I got too greedy with that landing. Far too greedy, and I think my pilot is dead. Oh well. At least it makes a decent wreck. I mean, good opportunity to check out the damage detail. Also, airfix, I think you know what you have to do now. Sorry. <laughs> 